chip 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 Good morning and welcome back to Falls Hill Side Home. Got a very exciting video for you today, requested by the one and only Mr. Ward Jones on behalf of his fifth grade class. Uh, very excited uh, for this video. So uh, what Mr. Uh, Ward Jones has asked us to do is explain uh, our composting toilet system uh, that we use here on the hillside. Uh, before we get into that, uh, a little bit about me, because this is you know primarily for uh, the students, but all my uh, subscribers, fans on YouTube are gonna see this as well. So uh, a little bit about me, I just retired out of the military, 20 years, retired as a chief petty officer, uh, moved back to my hometown in Tennessee, but I live out in the country, uh, bought uh, around eight acres, uh, two of it's cleared off, and I started a little hobby farm, and you'll see some of the animals in the video. Uh, built my own cabin, uh, I'll show you that right here. I actually built, uh, built this myself, and it's been less than a year, and we only got to finish the outside for the most part. Uh, and I got plenty of videos where you guys can check that out as well. Uh, but it's just documenting my life, my adventures of uh, being retired and starting this life up here on the hillside. And it'll include some hunting videos, some fishing videos, and uh, you guys can go check those out, you know, whenever you have time. Uh, but this is Falls Hillside Home, and uh, today I'm going to share with you about composting toilet system. I'm going to show you the setup first and then I'll show you or I'll, I'll talk to you about why I do that. Uh, for some of y'all it's going to you know kind of gross you out and you'll be thinking why would you do that uh, and things like that and that's, those are all good questions. I appreciate those questions but there's very specific reasons why I chose to do the compost and toilet system. I don't ever plan to hook up a septic tank here. I don't have a uh, city sewer out here in the country. Uh, this is what I'm going to continue to do. So I want you to bear with me, pay close attention, because uh, this is very exciting stuff to me. Uh, uh, I can't wait to uh, share this with you. Brennan, what do you think about so far? Today's going to be a crappy video. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so this is Brennan. He's my buddy from uh, Dalton, Georgia. And you go to Cedar Ridge Elementary. Yes. Uh, fourth grade. Uh, so he's a big fan of YouTube, and uh, he's asked to help out on this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Bear with me. So uh, you'll see the little medical toilet seat here by Brennan. This was left on the property whenever I bought it. It was in the garage and I knew I was gonna do this compost and toilet system. So I thought this was a wonderful opportunity uh, just as I get started. Cause I don't have a bathhouse uh, or an outhouse yet. It is gonna be on this location. You can see the uh, cabin there and I got a tent set up where one of my buddies at work is staying uh, with me for a little bit. But anyway, uh, this medical seat, this medical uh, toilet seat, I guess, was left on the property, so I decided to use that in conjunction with a uh, five-gallon bucket. Uh, so we're going to move over here real quick, and uh, Brandon's going to show you uh, exactly what we do. So we got our fresh five-gallon bucket, and yeah, nothing in it, and Brandon's going to put some uh, pine shavings in here. Now, really, you want to use uh, fine sawdust. Brandon, you go ahead and start throwing that in there. Uh, he's going to put it about halfway, uh, third third of the way up and you want it to be dry you don't want it to you know really be too red or anything like that because what this is going to do is soak up a lot of the moisture in here now uh, you can go number one number two both in the bucket a lot of people that do composting uh, bucket systems or composting toilet systems they want something to divert the urine uh, from the solid waste I don't see a reason to do that and for my studies I haven't found a real reason to do that because both of them uh, have properties that you need for the composting to take place and for it to actually be compost. So with your solid waste, uh, you know, the poo, uh, you know, I want to say that's the carbon in there and through the urine, that's where you're going to get your nitrogen and you need uh, both of those uh, to have a successful composting system. And so he's going to put about, uh, about halfway, third of the way up. And so let's get a couple more scoops in there, Brennan. 
I mean, we might come a little short of that, but you know, just know that you want to use a lot of sawdust or a lot of uh, pine shavings. I get my pine shavings at Tractor Supply. It's about five dollars for a big old bell, and uh, two bells will last me for months. All right, that, that'll be good enough for here. Uh, that, that's about a third of the way, right? I would really put uh, some more in there, but for sake of the video, uh, we'll go ahead and move on. All right, Brandon, let's All go right. ahead and put our bucket underneath the seat like we're about to use it. And usually, it's in place. Again, I keep this in the garage mostly. Uh, just because I don't have a bathhouse here. So let's say, you know, you do number one, number two, whatever. You can use toilet paper, throw it in here. I wouldn't use uh, stuff with a lot of chemicals. You know, I would be careful with the wipes. You can make organic wipes. Uh, maybe I should do a video on that later. You throw that in there. But you throw, you know, paper towels if you need to clean or whatever, if you just use them water. You just want to be careful because if you're going to use this for composting. So let's say now we're done, right? We got our toilet paper in. We've uh, done all that stuff. So now you want to cover it with uh, pine shavings. So I'll keep a little pail of pine shavings here And just want to cover it up uh, Real nice and good again use plenty of uh, Sawdust or pine shavings. You don't want to be able to see anything there when you're moving and you gotta remember that if uh, you went number one in there a lot of that's gonna so, uh, soak up into the uh, Pine shavings. So you definitely want to be able to use a lot but number two, it'll just, you can just see it. Yeah, be able to see it good enough. And as long as you're covered, you should be good. It almost right. disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to show you uh, what else we use uh, for the composting system. And I want to explain to you exactly why we do this. Are you interested yet? You got questions? Good. I'm going to help you answer most of them during this video. And whatever questions I miss, Feel free to put questions down in the comments if you get on here later. But before you get on any YouTube channel, guys, be sure to ask your parents about it, okay? Mine is family friendly. You will not find any language or anything inappropriate in my videos. Always educational, fun, and a lot of cute animals. So anyway, uh, let's go check out what I call the compost hacienda. All right, so I'm going to show you the compost hacienda real quick. Now, the only part that's really kind of... You know, to me, uh, a little bit unpleasant is emptying the buckets. Now, once you fill up a bucket, throw the lid on there, store it wherever you need to store it. I'm going to store mine at the compost hacienda, uh, and it does get just a little bit nasty. Okay? That's about the only time it's really going to stink. If you're doing the compost toilet system right, wherever your toilet seat is, if you're doing that right, it's not going to stink. At, you know, at all. Yeah. You're not going to be able to smell it. Yeah, even when um, ducks poop in it, like butt quacks, uh, you're going to have to throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Uh, but yeah, let me show you the compost hacienda. Now, if you look through the woods right there, you'll see I made just a temporary one uh, with four pallets. And what I do is I'll dump the buckets in there. You see I've got three that's already filled up, just kind of waiting to be dumped. And I won't dump them, you know, at, you know each time I fill one up, I'll save them. Uh, because up here I don't have running water uh, so anytime I use that I really got to conserve water so whenever I uh, finish washing one out I'm going to pour that water into the next bucket I hope that makes sense so anyway uh, see I don't know if you can see through there I really don't want to take you up too close to it you're not really going to be able to uh, you know I will I'll take you up to it let's take a look here uh, you're not really going to be able to see anything I got a few banana peels in there but I've covered it with uh, some hay Looks like an animal might have gotten there and uncovered uh, some of that hay, but that's just straw, you know, uh, just cover material. Uh, so, anyway, after you get done dumping all that out, and again, once you start this, you want to kind of dig out, not a hole necessarily, but just kind of like a bowl-shaped uh, deal, and you just start dumping your stuff in there. But you need some sort of cover material. I like to use uh, straw. I've used uh, you know, old leaves before, just throw them in there and cover it up and that's going to keep the smell down uh, to keep uh, animals from getting in there as much some people like to use pine straw or even uh, some type of moss uh, things like that and as time goes by that pile in your compost hacienda is going to go down as the uh, organisms I'll, and I'll explain to you a little bit how that works as uh, those organisms do what they do that compost pile is going to shrink okay so A lot of times, so see, I'm going to have to uh, cut all these trees down because one thing I think I messed up on, I think it needs more sunlight than what it's getting. Uh, so this winter, I'm going to cut down a lot of these pine saplings and everything like that. 
and it's going to get a lot more um, sunlight here. And I'm also uh, going to build onto the compost toss in. I'm going to have two or three actual areas uh, to throw my compost in. And here's the reason why. So uh, once you let your compost sit for a year, like you're done adding to it, you're not going to add any more. You let it sit for a year. Uh, these organisms are actually living organisms inside, breaking everything down. And in one year, it's no longer poop. It's no longer pee. It's compost. Uh, and it's safe to use on your uh, flower gardens if you want to use that. And it sounds nasty yeah. uh, to some of y'all. It's like, why would you want to hold on to your own waste? Well, here's the thing, guys. Uh, if you learned about minerals, you know, we can't really make any more minerals. The minerals that are here on Earth are all the minerals that we got. And as you take in those minerals, you know, you're eating it with your food, you know, you're getting your vegetables, taking your vitamins and stuff like that. Uh, you're passing those minerals through your body, okay? Um, so there's some value there in your waste. You're passing those minerals out. And I think it's a great opportunity. Instead of uh, going out and buying compost, you have it right here. Your body's already producing it. You can also have a different compost pile just for food scraps if you want to, or you can throw food scraps uh, in that one. So anyways, breaking it down, got your minerals in there. So now, uh, say we gotta go back and add some more. Uh, we've already put our straw down a couple months, three months, four months gone by. Uh, we wanna add some more on there. Well, that cover material is providing the oxygen that your compost needs. So your compost is gonna need oxygen, it's gonna need heat, it's gonna need some wetness. A lot of that wetness is gonna come um, the moisture is going to come naturally, uh, but you're going to get plenty of rain through there. And anytime I uh, wash out the buckets, I'm dumping that water out as well. <laughs> Go ahead and feed them. Big, ow, such a bugger. Macy, where you at? Hey, hey. So not only is Brandon up here visiting me, but I got some uh, other friends. dogs up here, new friends. Yep. We got Henry. That's Henry, German Shepherd. Stop it. Uh, Paris is out on the run. Here comes Macy. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Macy, is Macy come on. Terrier. Yeah, she's back there by the white car. Come on, Macy. Come here, girl. We got some new friends. <laughs> and y'all know Red and Hercules. Look how much they've grown. You know Sparky. Yeah, and there's, yep, Sparky. Just got her not too long ago from Animal Control. We adopted her. And there's little Macy. I love little Macy. Yeah. All right, so let me tell you a little bit more about why I decided to do uh, composting. Uh, for one, I don't have a whole lot of money, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm retired Navy. I get a retirement check. I got a really good job. Um, uh, but unfortunately, guys, and I've sure always shared this, but I'll share this with you. Uh, I am divorced. I pay you quite a bit of money in child support and things like that. So uh, moving on with that, I don't have a whole lot of money left to spend on, you know, other things. So I was looking at what can I do uh, to save money? I want to be able to do some other things. I still want to be able to go on trips. I want to be able to afford to hunt and fish. I want to bring more uh, animals uh, to the hillside here. I'm, next year I'm hoping to get goats, so I need to build a big fence. And goats, uh, the ones that I'm wanting to get, I mean, they could be like two, 250 a piece uh, to get, but I only need to get four or five of them, you know, maybe even just three and start breeding them. So uh, yeah, I got some things that I want to do you know, up here on the hillside. So, look, I had to look at places where I could, you know, not spend some money. And this is a perfect one. Now, let's think about this. Uh, the water that comes through uh, your toilet system at home, let's turn over here so I'm in the sun a little bit more. Uh, your toilet system at home, that's fresh water. Fresh water is a valuable resource for the earth. You know, uh, we have to be careful with that. Uh, some places uh, that you live, like in California, uh, when I was stationed there, we were under water restrictions quite a bit. You can only use so much. You were not allowed to wash your car outside. And if you got caught, you got a fine. So uh, places get under water restrictions. So fresh water is a valuable resource. Um, and I've also decided for that reason to do water catchment up here, but that'll be another video. Just keep, you know, you guys should subscribe and all that. Uh, but anyway, you gotta pay for that fresh water that you're using to flush urine and feces out of your home. Let's talk about where that goes. That's gonna to go to a, a sewage treatment plant where it's gonna cost more energy, more money, 
more fresh water to process. And once they process it, where do you think it goes then? It's exactly right. It goes into our rivers, our uh, oceans, uh, things like that. And what I told you before is we're flushing something valuable. Uh, no, we're, we're turning it into something that can't be used again, for one, and then flushing it into our uh, lakes, uh, rivers, uh, oceans, and things like that. And that kind of bothers me. I don't, you know, we have something that's of value being compost. Uh, some of your parents' garden, they like flowers, they like uh, vegetable gardens and things like that. Ask them, ask them about, you know, the compost that they use, whether they have to go buy it or not. Uh, this is one way where you don't have to go buy uh, compost. Now I told you if you uh, let it sit for one year after you're done adding to a pile, right, uh, you can use it on your flowers. Like I say as a rule of thumb, you could probably use it on your vegetable garden by then, but just to be safe, uh, let it sit for two years and then it's completely safe to use on your vegetables. Uh, you probably wouldn't get away with selling them, you know, to like at a farmer's market or something like that, uh, rules and regulations, right? Uh, I got my own thoughts about that and that's for a different video. Uh, but if you're just using it for your own consumption, and again, you're not putting poop on there. They, now they do do that in like Asia, uh, some of those countries, they call it night soil, where they'll just throw their feces uh, out into their gardens and stuff like that. Now you don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, I heard like uh, some Amish folks too from some of the other videos that I'll watch, so you don't, but they don't use that for their gardens or anything like that. They'll just throw it out into their yards and, and things like that. You don't want to do that. This is not what we're doing here. So once that compost pile has sat for a year, again, it's no longer waste. It's no longer human waste. Um, it's actually just compost, rich dirt. And I wish I had a, a pile that was already here for a year or two. Like I said, I just got back uh, probably about eight months ago. So I'm still building onto my first pile. And a lot of places, if you go and look at their compost haciendas, the grass that's growing around it is green, thick, and just thriving. They have a hard time controlling it because it grows so well because of the compost that's inside the bin. Um, that's how good this stuff is. So uh, let me ask you a couple of questions here. Have you used the compost toilet system here before? Yes. Uh, inside the garage, right? Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your experience with using that. Um, it, I use it four times and it's, I mean, it gets a little gross, but it's not like, like that gross you just gotta cover it up and it's really easy to like use and and um i went there four times and i said that but i'll stop <laughs> it's real easy to use right yeah, yeah it's really easy and you know I, have you ever like just walked up to the toilet and it's like oh my goodness this smells so bad i can't use it uh uh well sometimes well, i think that's just yeah. the garage things yeah <laughs> I gotta clean my garage out. Uh, but it doesn't, Ew. you've been into an outhouse at uh, like a, a hiking trails and places like that up in the National Forest, right? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? Well, have you guys? I have, it really stinks. Comment down below, see if you guys did, or else you're not, because <laughs> I'm tired of this. Right, right, so, you know, if you ever used a porta potty or something like that, those can be pretty raunchy, pretty nasty, but the compost toilet system's nothing like that. If you do it right, uh, it doesn't stink. It's uh, very easy to do. So anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments. I know you guys are watching this in class right now for the students that, you know, that are watching this. Uh, but if you're able to, again, ask your parents. Uh, be responsible like that, okay? Um, I want you to be responsible, okay? If, you don't, if I don't get the comment, believe me, I'll, I'll be fine. Uh, but if you ask your parents and you go back and comment below, let me know what you think about the compost and toilet systems. Do you think it's gross? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you like to save money? Uh, do you like to garden? You know, things like that. Gardening gets kind of expensive, you know. I mean, every plant that I saw over at Lowe's was like about, you know, you know 250 or 450 And if you buy, you know, a dozen of those, it adds up pretty quick. So uh, I like to see where I can cut costs. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. And uh, for everybody watching this, uh, please subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, flush that bell. We ring the notification bell. He's in a flush like <laughs> we yeah, just got I'm done at the talking toilet. about toilet systems. Yeah. If you ring that notification bell, you'll get notified of all the videos that I uh, release in the future. But hey guys, appreciate you so much uh, for watching this. I think it's really cool that your teacher uh, you know thought about this as an educational tool. 
Uh, man, that's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, I hope you guys get more of that. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Really appreciate you all. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Oh, hey. I always give a uh, scripture. Scripture? Yeah, a little word of encouragement. And I got the perfect one since uh, Brennan, man, is here helping me out. All right, so um, here's my word of encouragement for you guys today. I thought this was very appropriate since uh, Brennan, man, is uh, helping me out here. Uh, Psalm 127, verses 3 through 5 says, Behold, children are a gift of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be ashamed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. Now, Mr. Brennan here is a handful sometimes, uh, but he is a wonderful uh, gift of the Lord. I enjoy hanging out with him. I enjoy uh, every moment that we get together. Uh, we have a lot of good times, don't we, buddy? Oh, uh, yeah. One time uh, my mom got hurt by uh, the rooster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you guys didn't know, you kind of figured out I'm dating his mom. And uh, Fella did chase her all around the property. She's screaming and yelling. Uh, it was kind of funny. Yeah. Um, but, you know, back to the scripture, uh, the children are a blessing uh, from the Lord. I appreciate Brennan. And I appreciate all you guys. I, I, and I got, you know, three children, you know, from my uh, former marriage. I love them to death. I, every moment I get with them, I love spending with them, trying to get uh, videos, get them included in the videos too. And you can go back and see some of them. Um, and I'm sure you guys are a blessing to your teacher. Okay, so be sure to tell your teacher thank you. And, uh, and uh, Mr. Ward Jones, I'm sure you're thankful for those kids. And, uh, you know, we get the moment, if you're the folks that like to pray, you know, thank uh, the Lord for those blessings that are in your life. All right, hey, love you guys. And again, hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.